let us teach you how to make your wands like these. We've got, uh, we've got these two basic wands here. And Correct. basically the idea is we want to make it so we don't have to rely on the low mana pool and recharge time of wand 2. Correct. So when you're using this wand, it, it has some pretty nice damage output. However, as soon as it runs out of mana, it puts you in a really bad spot. Which is why we would much rather use the other wand. Because if you run out of mana on this thing, you're, you're in a rough spot. Yeah. So th there's a way of improving the, the damage output with extremely minimal effort. Um, so most of the time you're not going to find a third spark bolt, or maybe you don't want to use any of the random spells you found on the floor. That, that's when a modifier or a multicast comes into play. And uh, y you'll end up finding modifiers on just about every single wand ever. Um, they're they're pretty basic. It, it basically just says projectile modifier on it. And uh, yeah, if you put one at the end, what this wand here reads is spark bolt, spark bolt. And then the burning trail has to find something to uh, wrap back to. That other spark bolt is what it finds. And uh, so it reads spark bolt, spark bolt, burning trail, spark bolt. And... Uh, that would make it sound like you would still only be shooting two, but as you can see, you, you fire three. Which is uh, really handy for an improved little bit of DPS. Uh, nine damage is pretty much enough to kill most things on the second floor, unless you're going into fungal caverns, but it's still a nice little damage improvement on your base wand. And with this, you'll never run out of mana, which is quite nice. And uh... Now, it... Oh, sorry, as you are about to say. Oh, no. So, the... Well, actually, let me set it back up. So, the only only reason that this wand isn't... Is, like, equivalent to as good as this one is the recharge time. So, as you see, one, two, three, recharge. So, the recharge is the only thing holding this wand back. And that's the only, only downside. But you never run out of mana with this wand. So, it's definitely a lot better to have that set up on. So with this, we we go into a basic spell wrap, correct? Yeah, th this is a, a more simplistic. Or it is a simplistic spell wrap, but it is uh, definitely when you start to get a huge spike in power. So if you find uh, Chainsaw or Luminous Drill, they have uh, a lower animation time on top of having a reduced recharge time. Most ones don't have troubles with cast delay. But uh, many wands have troubles with recharge time. So if you can find something that reduces recharge time and work it into a spell wrap like this, I, once again, ideally Chainsaw or Luminous Drill, otherwise you're going to be losing a lot of time casting. Uh, it, it's, it's definitely going to make a huge difference on the wand. So if you want to go ahead and try shooting that with Chainsaw and then try shooting that with Drill. So that, that was Luminous Drill there. You can see it runs out of mana like crazy. With Chainsaw, it's a lot better, but the spread is pretty substantial. It's still, uh, like, much, much better than whatever you could get. And the mana recharge is respectable enough that you don't really have to worry about it. Why don't you try showing off Drill, uh, j just the, the Digging Bolt, to see how that shoots. So as you can see, it's ungodly slow. Despite doing the exact same thing those other two ones did, where they reduced the recharge time, uh, by one point, uh, by point one seven times two, because of the way it's spell wrapped. So basically, uh, the the issue with this digging bolt is the 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 timing of it is much slower. Obviously, it adds a little bit of cast delay, but that that isn't the main issue with this wand. Um, uh, so go back to the the chainsaw for a moment, and I'll I'll read out what it what it says. So with this, it's reading Chainsaw. The double spell finds the Spark Bolt, but it has nothing else to go to, so it grabs the Chainsaw again. So that, that Chainsaw is simultaneously in its own block and wrapped into this spell wrap. So you're getting double Chainsaw. It's a, it's a two-for-one deal, essentially, in this setup, which is the whole point in using spell wrap in the first place, is to abuse the benefits out of uh, things like improved animation time, as well as uh, reduced recharge time. If you went uh, Spark Bolt, Spark Bolt, Double Spell, that would also be a spell wrap. 
and it would also increase DPS, um, arguably by by a little bit. So that goes three three six, and uh, you can see that the the double spell is casting both of them after wrapping around, a okay. and uh, it's a it's a decent little uh, spell wrap for early game. Uh, some people might prefer to have the double spell in front for the full six damage, but uh, it, it is a much slower shooter then. It's it's personal preference on this one, but it's just to show that the concept is uh, available to you right right from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Okay. So if you're not lucky enough to find a chainsaw, and obviously this is the best solution, but you can still manage with just a multicast or a modifier. For this wand, since um. Since we have the chainsaw at the end, it's not wrapping. It fires pretty quick, but we need to fix uh, the recharge time and cast delay. So with this wand, it has a ridiculous cast delay. However, with chainsaw, uh, in the animation time, it fixes everything on this wand. So it fires extremely fast. So there's a little bit of math behind this. The chainsaw uh, reduces recharge time by 0.17. And obviously, if you're getting it twice, then that's going to drop the recharge time under zero. And anything under zero on recharge time or cast delay is the fastest the wand will be able to shoot. It's a pretty reasonable wand. Obviously, mana and uh, max mana are a little bit jaded, uh, but... If you want to work with stuff like that, then we get into this wand. Right. So so these wands are actually... It's possible to build a wand with this level of machine gunning power. Uh, the trick is to keep your mana cost low and abuse the spell increase mana. So you can actually multiply your... Uh, it, we, you, we've been showing off that you can multiply projectiles by two, essentially, on your wand. But Correct. you can also multiply projectile modifiers by two if set up exactly the exactly the right way. So let, let's take a look at increased mana. Increased mana is uh, plus thirty mana, but it also uh, increases your cast delay. Now we already learned that if we reduce our recharge time to anywhere below zero, we don't have to worry about cast delay as long as we have something that uh, beats the animation out. So. This is where Chainsaw or Luminous Drill comes in. And uh, you can see we've got a Luminous Drill with Timer, which is already a very low animation time spell. So th th there's a couple different ways of doing this, and we'll show it off right now. Um, so wh why don't you fire this wand off? Uh, th this wand has n um, zero mana recharge, just to be clear. The stats are unrealistic, but the point is show that we cannot gain mana on this wand. So um, wh where do we go from here, Nick? So, how how this Ron read, actually, I, I want to fix the mana again so I can fire it again, but right now, it only has enough mana to cast Luminous Drill. So, there's no bubbles coming out, it, it's not ideal, because, like, it's, sure, we, we can dig with it, great. But, we want to cast all our bubbles, this is, this is why we have the wand. So, if we move the chainsaw to the front, it's suddenly reading as two separate spell blocks so this is a spell block going into the uh, luminous drill with timer spell block and that's wrapping around and getting that mana twice so now we actually gain mana with this wand because it's wrapping into the mana twice and giving all those benefits as well Right. So, so there, there's a pretty obvious effect going on when you have it in that setup, and that's the chainsaw is spawning at the be at the front of your wand and at the end of the laser as well. Um, it, it makes it pretty clear to how it's spell wrapping. Correct. And so with this one, we can only fire that that far, and then you notice at the tip of the wand, there isn't that chainsaw anymore. And then at the end, it, it can't even support it because this is one mana. And it literally has only enough for this Luminous Drill with Timer because this wand's mana recharges trash. <laughs> right. So um, an another thing that's really important to note 
is you cannot spell wrap into a trigger. So a, a, a trigger can't really be spell wrapped into simply because it, it's um, it. I'm, I'm not entirely certain, but there, there's basically a rule around it where if it's a trigger or a timer, um, it, it can't be spell wrapped into. You can still put it in part of a uh, like a multicast spell block, but it'll never wrap around into it. Meaning you can't abuse things like increased mana. So if, if you want to show that off real quick. Yeah, so this this one we just took the chainsaw off. So technically it should spell wrap, but since this is a timer, it's considered one spell block and it's doing the exact same thing as if we had the right. chainsaw on. So why the, don't you put the luminous drill without timer up at the front and take that chainsaw off just to show that it will spell wrap. This is a single block, but it it's not using a timer or a trigger, so it should increase in mana. Based okay. off of this. Oh, it has a bit of kickback with the <laughs> magic. Oh, yeah. You're going to have why. to be facing the other way. <laughs> so would you look at that? It, it appears that you are still dropping in mana, meaning you're not actually spell wrapping. So here's what you're going to do. Put a chainsaw before the luminous drill. And now we are increasing on mana. So, um, the, the reasoning behind this is because you don't have a... Uh, you, you have to have two separate blocks. Otherwise, it will not properly spell wrap projectile modifiers. And uh, the, the reasoning behind that is that uh, as, as long as it's doing a full loop, uh, it, it, it would, in theory, like infinitely cast the wand over and over uh, from a single click. But obviously, the game can't do that. Yeah. So uh, it, it's got this little limitation on it. That's super neat. So, even even though we have the luminous drill in the front, it's only there to create the second block. So you could literally do that with anything, and uh, have the same result. All right. Since we weren't able to come up with a uh, good ending for this uh, video. I just wanted to throw in a clip of uh, spell wrapping into just mana and uh, random tentacle spells and stuff like that. But uh, if you did learn anything or if you want to learn more, uh, by all means, uh, go check out Alias. Uh, he's a huge help and uh, he knows so much about this game that, uh, that like, we... We haven't even touched the surface of uh, spell wrapping, but uh, definitely check him out. And uh, also, uh, I do stream on Sundays, so if you want to stop by and learn as well, then uh, by all means, do that as well. And uh, as always, have a wonderful evening, noon, and night. Goodbye.